Hello and welcome to episode 18 of E30 M3 Recreation. Believe me guys, things are hotting up here at BMP Conversions because the car is back and every part of the car is covered in shiny white paint. If you're new to this series, please click the playlist link at the top of the screen and see for yourselves how far this car has come so far. In this episode, Spencer will walk us around the E30 and show off his workmanship. But first, Spencer's had a stunning BMW Z8 in the workshop, and I suppose it'd be rude not to share this ultra-rare James Bond car with you all. So please, fondle that subscribe button, sit back and enjoy. So here it is, isn't she a beauty? Leave your comments below, over to Spencer from BMP. I just sort of do a little walk around of this uh, BMW Z8 we've had in for a little bit of work. Um, the car looks beautiful, uh, silver and glistening in the sun. So this car is basically my all time favorite car. Total dream car for me, so it's a dream come true to have this come into the workshop. You can see the shapes and the lines of the side are just absolutely beautiful. So the car basically runs a BMW S62, which is the E39 M5 engine. Anyone can appreciate the shape of the front end of that car. It's uh, the proper BMW heritage shark nose going on there. S62. Obviously the S62 does suffer from a few little common problems, but the main thing is that the, the van osters need rebuilding, so uh, even if they're sat and, and haven't done anything, the seals are just going to dry up and go hard. So I believe this is uh, just shy of 400 horsepower in a two-seater car, rear-wheel drive. Um, 500 torques, or thereabouts. So it's a, a proper meaty experience. So I wouldn't say this car is the fastest off the line. There are faster, smaller, lighter cars BMW make, but the power delivery of the V8 is absolutely beautiful. The, the car feels very, very torquey. You can feel the torque pushing you back into the seat. It's a very pleasant car to drive. You can see the quality of the actual interior itself. So we have uh, pockets which are slightly, the rear one's oil dampened. You've got your toggle switches. So these are the window switches on the, the door here. You can obviously up and down, and then you can click it uh, right hand side, which will operate the passenger side only. Click it in the middle, which will operate both windows. Click it over, that will operate just this window. So uh, you've got mirror toggle here. <clears throat> the nice thing about this car as well is the, the steering wheel itself. So the steering wheel is, uh, I think, the biggest statement of the car, to be quite honest because there, well, there wasn't any other cars fitted with that steering wheel, so that is a, a, a one-off for this car. Also, the car had a, a start button, which was a, quite a new thing back then when the car was released. The actual clock binnacles, so I don't know if you can see that in the video, but each clock is angled nicely towards the driver to make it feel like a uh, cockpit-style um, sort of uh, drive. So you have the centre pockets here, just and right, you have the middle pocket for storage. There are some lockable pockets down behind the seat itself, each seat. Z8 has a lovely Z8 plaque in the middle of the car. Obviously the leather is absolutely lovely. It may, it may be different but it um, feels napper to me. So yeah, it's just a, a little walk around of the BMW Z8. A car of my dreams. One day I may own one, you never know. At the minute the price on them is anywhere between 200,000 to sort of 300,000 um, pound. Don't get me wrong, there are other cars which are far superior, far faster. This car isn't a race car, you know, this car is a, a big luxury cruiser. It's just an enjoyable car to drive, beautiful car to look at, and it's got a good heritage to it. So 
so the E30 M3 recreation is back in the workshop. You can see how clear the actual paint finish is. See the reflection in the rear quarter panel. Same this side. The whole workshop is reflecting in the, the actual paint finish of the rear quarter. As you can see all the way along, the actual car is like brand new. So brand new paint work everywhere. All the uh, 3M under seal has been applied. In the engine bay has gotten a little bit dirty on the way back from the painters. But we kept it dry completely, thank God. But yeah, so the E30 recreation is looking like a proper car again. After all the hard work, the amount of hours that have been put into this car is unreal. I'll just show you inside the wheel arch. So you can see all the way around the wheel arch is all brand new under sealer. Underneath the car itself is the rear wheel arch. On the front wheel arch, we've actually under sealed all the way up the bulkhead. It wasn't like that before. So uh, we've actually sealed it more than the factory sealant was applied all the way around the turrets, all the way down the car. So I'll show you the inside of the floor of the car, which is, I would say, nearly as good as the finish on the rear quarters to be quite honest. Um, the inside of the car, the paint was really, really done well. Covered every single area. All the brand new rear quarter panels have paint on the inside of them. All our seam sealer down the edge there, you can see. Going back round to the inside of the boot. The inside of the boot is now freshly painted inside and out as well as the rear quarters and back panel. So you can see all the, the joints of the, the back panel to the boot floor all the way along there. Very nicely seam sealed, ground down, welded. So you can see the actual back panel itself. You actually see the front end of the BMW in the rear quarter. You can see how crystal clear the actual finishes in the paintwork to be able to see that reflection. Now, this paintwork hasn't actually been polished at all. Um, this is directly gun finish, so I am absolutely chuffed to bits with the finish that this, uh, the painter has uh, supplied us with, as well as you know, he's done everything in house. So he's fully blasted the actual car off, um, you know, underside, uh, engine bay, boot lid, um, inside the floor of the car, and he's actually then epoxy primed it, we seam sealed it, we under sealed it, and then he's actually then painted the under sealer within the six hours of the cure time for it to be able to start to tack off. I will now turn it up on its side so that you can see the underside of the car and see how clear every definition is. So here we are, the, the underside of the car. This is uh, just showing all the, the brand new under sealer applied to the entire car. So I don't know if you remember, but we fitted internal carbon rear wheel arches. So that seam there is where the original metal one stops and the carbon one begins. You can hear how solid that actual inner tub is along with this uh, battery tray. So now it's sealed up the, the two halves. This piece is steel there. That's part of the, the bottom of the rear quarter. This piece is carbon fiber. So sounds as substantial as the steel. That has also been made to twice the thickness of the original steel part. So it is equal to the strength of the steel as well. Uh, that, that part is obviously absolutely spot on, along with the, the other carbon rear wheel arch. So you can see an underside of the car, all the way down. The 
mounts we applied for the E36 twin rear diff hanger, they're on in place. So I'll work along the footwell of the passenger side of the car, all the way along to the, the inner wing, and then underneath the actual flex panel and the, the bumper mount, E30 M3 bumper mount, down the front panel. As you can see, we've totally made the underside of this car look like brand new. Uh, we've blasted it back to full bare metal, actually epoxy primed it, which it wasn't in factory, so epoxy primer is uh, basically, I would say 95% waterproof. So this car has a, a waterproof primer on it. And then the under seal, the brand new under seal 3M has been applied, which is nylon perfect, waterproof, uh, better than the original under sealer, which BMW applied on the car from factory. And then we had six hours to paint the 3M under sealer before uh, the paint wouldn't have a wet on wet contact. So the painters painted the under sealer instantly after we applied it. So um, within half an hour. So you get half an hour grace uh, for the remainders of the under sealer uh, hardener and uh, start to cure. So, and then you can then go ahead and apply the paint. So there was no, I, I repeat, no original under sealer left on this shell whatsoever. This shell is completely rust free, totally welded, 100%. We've removed the rust issues which these cars suffer from, i.e. the rear wheel arches, outer panels, and the rear pockets uh, also have been fully removed rust-wise, brand new carbon fiber and metal parts replaced. Um, so this car is now rust-free, 100%, brand new bare metal respray, and brand new under sealer applied. We haven't gone over any original under sealer. We haven't uh, blocked in any original damp. So the original under sealer itself would hold a, a type of moisture. And when you paint over that original sealer, what a lot of people do is they would remove the sealer in this area, weld that area up, and then just under seal this area and paint all the original under sealer as well as their new stuff you're actually trapping in moisture when you do that. The original factory under sealer actually holds moisture and because it holds moisture, when you paint it on top of it, so you paint the underside of your car, you're creating a rust problem which will come and bite you in the bum in about three years time. And you'll end up after a full restoration like this, you'll end up with a car that will need welding again. So we're life proofing this car um, for at least you know, 10 years before this car should ever see any signs of surface rust. The next stage is to remove all the um, suspension parts out of their freshly bubble wrap powder coated finish bags and start to push in all the brand new ball joints, bushes, um, every single part brand new into the suspension components and put the multi-coloured suspension components on this brand new underside white E30 M3 recreation. To round things up, we've future proofed this car, made this car rust proof, uh, we've removed the original under sealer, we haven't sealed any damp into the shell, and we've put an epoxy primer on, which they didn't have from factory, so this car stands a better chance lasting longer than the original car did, which was 30 years, so this car has a, a long span of life ahead of it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, this was a, just a short update. Very soon, more videos to come with colored components of the suspension being fitted to this shell. Uh, we will have brand new freshly painted uh, components going on there and also zinc plated nuts and bolts. This car will look like factory fresh once we're done. Thank you. Uh, subscribe and uh, yeah follow the channel hope you enjoy the series of videos so far this is this build is now going to become very interesting in the next month and a half the sound that i've got on my car it's not terminal and it's not gonna it's not hankering the performance in any way whatsoever it's just a niggling listen sound. now as i pull away 
that noise there 